I'm Andreas Müller, I'm the general manager of the Kofu Tano Resort in Rasa Kema. Thank you for having me here. Well, good afternoon and thank you for taking the time to speak to Breaking Travel News. Um, we're here on the third and probably final day of World Travel Market 2015. Just tell us how the show has gone for you this year. So far it's been an excellent show. I mean we had some really productive interview, um, appointments with uh, key partners and also a lot of new partners and I felt that the, the optimism this year was a lot more than it used to be in the, in the world travel market. Not that it has never been optimistic, but at this time I feel there's a lot more drive and a lot more um, productive meetings came out of this year. We can see a lovely photo of the, of the resort behind you there. Perhaps you could just tell um, our viewers a little bit about the property and uh, what you offer there. Okay. Um, the Kof Rotana is now uh, going into its fifth, fifth year. It's been established um, by Oraskom. It's a, it's a large uh, a company who, who, who does build destinations. Rasa Kema used to be um, a sort of secluded family beach resort, quite um, quite uh, popular with the local Abu Dhabi and Dubai crowd coming over on weekends and has in the last three and a half years, I would say four years, really put um, established itself as an international tourist destination and is really going strong. The Cove obviously enjoys um, big recognition part of the destination and also part of Rotana marketing and um, becoming a very popular and busy resort, yes. Anything that's a deliberate policy on the part of the Razal Kemar administration, the government there, to promote the destination uh, as, as, a new, uh, as a new option in the UAE? Yeah, it's, um, it's always been the rising emirate, but I think we have now risen, so we can, really, we can really talk about an established tourist destination, and it's going from strength to strength now. So it's not um, the sleepy hotspot anymore, the, the secluded beach. The beaches, luckily, are still fairly secluded. It's, it's, everything is very open, the, the destination is quite laid back, so it's ideal for people who want to just get away from everything and relax, either for a short weekend or for a couple of weeks for, for foreign tourists coming in, yes. And how about 2016, looking forward um, to, the, to the destination next year, and particularly this resort? Do you have any uh, large events on the agenda that you're keen to talk about? Yeah. No, we, I mean, we're looking forward to a strong 2016, so I think the indicators are there, they speak for themselves. Uh, during uh, World Travel Mart now we found that it is a lot of... Uh, interest in the destination. The cove itself is going to go very strong. We're very optimistic of what's to come. And um, we don't have large events, but we're going to extend. We're going to um, we build an extension. It's currently under construction. Should be open by um, beginning of next year. And then we'll have another 150 rooms additional to the, in to the inventory with a water park, uh, family concept, larger rooms, etc., etc. So it's going to be very interesting. And the existing property itself has obviously been very successful, recognised as the United Arab Emirates leading family resort by the World Travel Awards. Yes, yes. How did it feel to take that title? That's great. I mean, we, we're obviously a family resort and it feels, feels good that it's recognised as such and that we and then walk away with, a, with an award as a bonus for us. But uh, we're building on the family, um, we continue building on the family aspect with the extension and uh, hopefully that, that will keep on selling us. Yes. Well, congratulations and thank you for taking the time to speak to us today. Thank, thank you. you very much.